What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Diablo Immortal video. To be fair, it's a very quiet day inside of the game today, so there's a few things that I like to do to keep myself entertained while maybe there's not the biggest events dropping. With that being said, there are some events that are going on inside of the game right now. We have Fisher's Frenzy, which is one that honestly I haven't fallen in love with, nor have I participated much in. We've done a little bit, but that's really it. Bout of Realms, remember, preliminaries are starting, uh, well, they started yesterday. Are you participating in that? And Alley of Blood, Blood, Survivor's Bane. Survivor's Bane is always just a ton of fun. It's literally my favorite thing inside of the game to play, besides, obviously, the grinding of my character itself. As I mentioned, Alley of Blood and all clans on deck is going on now as well. Make sure that your clan and you pick up the optimal rewards, which is pretty easy to do if you're in a decently sized full clan. Um, what I like to do when it's a day like this is it's a good day for one to complete your favorite event inside of the game which for me is Survivor's Bane but also to just do that grind right to get through all of your dailies to get all of your dungeons done and if I take a look really quickly here as we're logging in for the first time today my dungeons we did not do them yesterday so what that means is I need to run dungeons two times as many dungeons today super easy six dungeons right there try and knock out a few quests along the way and we probably have two days worth of uh events yeah we have 16 battle uh bounty board things that we can do over here pretty easy stuff but we're gonna grind through that today first thing make sure that we don't get behind because we don't want to lose out on any of that experience and of course we're collecting our accursed towers experience which you got to do for yourselves every morning make sure that you're also going through and running the sanctum right over here it's always important that you do that every single day but what i like to do is I like to play the market game. Before I go into that though, I wanna remind you guys that yesterday I put out a video regarding uh, some people that are trying to scam. That's a video that's really important to watch, not specifically focused around Diablo Immortal, but it was posted yesterday. Make sure you don't become a victim to that, guys. Some people in this community and the communities from my other channels have been, and uh, it's just really important that you watch that video so that you do not get scammed. And actually, I'm sitting here looking at this cosmetic right now, it actually has a great glisten effect over top of it, something that I never noticed before. Maybe that's the rain hitting it. Maybe it's just awesome looking, but it actually looks quite nice. I, uh, I like it. So we do play the market game, though, and the market game is where I really see what kind of stuff is going on in the market because it's been so incredibly low prices. The buyer's market is here that sometimes I'm seeing things that are just insane. All right. 41k is so low for a blood soaked jade but not as crazy low as we've been seeing things lately how about the void spark void spark 31k not bad i'm sitting with 40,000 platinum so i should be able to pick myself up one of these two we have gloom 29k that's a good price for a gloom 30 33k for a three star what's going on here with the bottled hope these are my gems that i have for my build so the ones that i try and pick up to enhance my build and seeping bile whoa see this is what i'm talking about right here a three star seeping bile sitting at 17k we're going to set ourselves a nice two hour timer pop on for this one there's probably gonna be 20 people bidding for it and i probably won't get it why do i like getting the three star versions of these because i don't need the three star version anymore as it sits we already have a four star seeping bile as you can see right here we're all set up with the four star so why are we going and trying to grab a three star? Because if the market picks up in the time before I get to use that gem, I could throw it back at the market. If I could pick up a gem, a three star for 20,000 platinum, and then the market gets revitalized, I could probably sell that three star gem for 45, 50,000 platinum and double my profit on it. So it's a long-term play. And I could make a long-term play because check it out, I don't have much gem power whatsoever. I can't do any upgrades. Look at this. One, two, three, four seeping biles. I only need, what do we need for the upgrade over here? I think I need five seeping biles to get it upgraded. Yeah, but it's already at a rank four. Uh, four star rank five, I'm sorry. So it's going to take six, 12, 18, 240 gem power for each of these gems I put into it, and I just don't have it. It also wouldn't be the best use of my my gem power instead it would be better use to come over here and to try and do my gloom wait a second why is why of these oh i guess that's how i had it. i i didn't realize that these had switched slots 
uh bottled hope is set but i want to be able to get right over here my gloom we want to get this gloom to rank five we got to get it there because once it is we can awaken the slot same thing with the void spark we need to get it to rank five i have two void spark gems a two star and a four star that's probably the biggest priority right here so i can turn this one into a four star gem rather than being a three star gem the gloom we've already done that we also need to get ourselves a four star version of the blood soaked jade so that we can then throw more bsjs in there because i have two of those sitting here waiting to go in and then we'll be able to get all of our five star gems up to a four out of five star status rather than three give us more gem power be able to get us those wings a little bit more quickly because we are very very close the net the, so as i'm sitting on gems here we have two void sparks and two gloom casks each of these are probably going to be priority being that they need to get up to the rank five so that we can awaken these slots everything else if i'm picking up blood soaked jades or if i'm picking up a seeping bile it's because the value is just so good and it could be a long-term play where we revisit the market in a month or two months because i'm still going to be sitting on these gems and we then try to sell them at that point in time and make a little bit more of a profit on it so the rest of the day is all about making sure that we take advantage of all of the grind that needs to be done inside of the game collecting our dailies from our services claiming all of this stuff as well and trying to make sure that we push a little bit of paragon today we did not do much yesterday server paragon level is 350 i'm only 353 we played minimally yesterday transparently super busy day at work and then i had a party that i went to with the family after work around five and as you know you go to the party you have a couple of drinks and then you go to bed early that's what happened with me last night let's run the sanctum really quickly because it's uh it's easy and it's fun and uh this is something that a lot of people don't realize is so important to do every day so if you're a new player inside of the game this is something that you can't get more of especially if you're free to play you're going to want to make sure that you run and you get all the aspirin keys that you can get out of here every day you can only run it once per day and once you miss a day you can't get that day back you can't get those keys back so you want to make sure that this is definitely one of your go-to's every day. And it's super easy. You could literally just run through with the pets picking up things a little bit more quickly now. It's even more efficient. And if you don't pick up your stuff, your aspirin keys will be sent to you in the mail, which is also really nice. So I essentially, with my barbarian, just kind of run on through, hope my pets pick up everything. I go back up a little bit to grab some stuff. and uh, But at the end of the day, we just kind of rush our way through. We don't even need to slow down. We grab the aspirin keys. And as always, my typical to do is I open up only four of the chests in the final room. I only open up four until I can run a full run, which is I, I wait until I have 400 keys. Then I could easily run a four run. We're going to open up three of these. One, two, and three. That's a total cost of three keys to open, which means we profited by one key in what we grabbed here today. And that's it. Boom. That was literally a one minute run. Got everything that we needed. And it was a good daily progress mission that we need to take part in. One more thing that's super quick and super easy that I make sure that I do every day is we come on over and we go buy some things from the Hilt Trader. Now, we did recently have a switch from Shadows to Immortals and all that jazz. So we may have a, a special chest in here. Nope, we don't. It's all gone. But look at this. We can buy a Taloric Pearl. I love the Taloric Pearls. I wish I could buy more of them because they are your ticket to upgrading your gems. It does take some time. It's a time investment. I also grab the rare crest here every single day. So inside of Diablo Immortal, on a slow day like today, take advantage of what the game gives you. Enjoy some time socializing with friends. Maybe hit up some Heliquary. Definitely do some open world farming and enjoy your day. And exactly what you're supposed to do with games is just casually play.